not the prettiest game of footy you've ever seen, yeah. but win the win, I suppose. It is, mate. Yeah, three in a row. We always knew it was going to be tough coming out here and playing wherever. They're a really good team. Um, they had a couple of key outs themselves in Barlow and Hanson's for the midfield, so um, and they, they still competed really well. So, um, yeah, all in all, we played four quarters of footy. Uh, a little bit tight there late in the game, but um, credit to the boys who tip, you know, tipped in all, all day and, and to get the four points is great. How was the, um, the feeling in the box at the end there? It felt like you were in control for most of the game and then yeah. you were a little bit nervy at the end. Is that how you saw it? Exactly, yeah, we, we were. Um, Travi went down late as well with a finger, so um, yeah, we were a couple down on the bench with Laney with a concussion. So um, yeah, they were definitely starting to get on top of us around the contest, um, which hurts. So we, uh, yeah, for us to, to hang in there the way we did, a um, couple of crucial contests late. Um, you know, Mark Keane going back with the flight late in the, in the last quarter and Lynchy's, you know, big mark on the wing there. Um, so, yeah, re really proud of the boys. Um, as a coach, do you, do you see a scrappy game like that? Do you, do you care if you're, like, winning the game? Or how do you see it from oh, this point of view? I think it's, yeah, at times, and probably against teams and oppositions like Werribee at times, you know, they really like to go quick from the back half. So we knew we had to really defend the ground pretty well and, and that probably got away with away from us a little bit in the second quarter and then also late in the last quarter so um, overall we just got to understand where, where the game's at and, and how we defend I think we, you know, we're a defend, defensive first team um, team so we need to understand our defensive principles and I thought for the majority of the day we got them right. It looks like after the bye they've come into a good run of form with three wins in a row and maybe yeah. some pressure on the top eight now. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's just good to be back playing our footy, mate. Like I, I think the last three weeks, our intent and our attitude has been has been first class. And I think if you watched our, you know, three games, we've we've definitely showed that. And and the buy-in from every, from all the players, AFL, VFL, um, that connection that I talk about a lot, um, has been there for the last three weeks, and that and that shows a difference. So if we keep bringing that attitude and the right mindset each week, we'll um we'll compete with most teams. Um, look at an individual point of view now. Um, Rupert Wills was his sort of game, yeah. I guess. Yeah, he loves it. Contest heavy game, but he was good in his first game. He's back. good. Yeah, he, he was super around the ball. Um, first game back after a few weeks off, so um, he looked really good around the contest. I think he had t you know twenty odd touches in the first half. So his ability to impact the game for us, especially in the first half, um, was was crucial for us. So hopefully he can back that up now. Um, you know there might be opportunities to open up throughout you know within the AFL team. So he's def definitely just got to get his body right um, and keep and keep playing good footy. Any any other performances stand out from your point of view? Oh, I thought Tommy Wilson's second game for us. Um, you know first game last week for him and, and he to come in today and I thought he um, his aerial work was was outstanding for us up forward. Um, his ability to go for a run and jump at the footy. Uh, hasn't played a lot of footy for the last few years, being, being a basketballer. So um, to come in and impact the game the way he did was, was super. Um, Johnny Noble continues to impress as well off half-back. So um, some of our AFL boys now are starting to put some really good games together. Benny Crocker, once again, has just been first class. Um, so he's, you know, he's in 10, his work rate, and he's also ability to finish um, as well in our forward half has been, been crucial for us. Our back's always been solid with Madge, um, you know, Flynn down there as well. So. Um, just, we're starting to get some real confidence within the group now, which is good.